Well, Dave McQuaid is the general manager of City Sports in Boston, Massachusetts. That is a chain of brick and mortar retail stores devoted to athletic goods. He says his store has seen a significant bump in sales, especially once the tournament got underway. This business has been phenomenal. Uh, we definitely saw a little bit of a slow and steady uptick before the tournament kicked off. Uh, but as soon as the games started, uh, we saw a huge explosion of business and we are beating expectations. Football really isn't as popular here in the U.S. as it is in other countries. Are you seeing that begin to change, though? Absolutely. The, the trends that we're seeing, especially on our youth side, is soccer is an up-and-coming sport. We are seeing year after year increase in sales there. And even just the atmosphere in the cities, especially during the World Cup right now, if you go into any bar here in Boston or any other city that we're located in, you're going to see tons of fans, uh, whether they're diehards or casual, decked out in their favorite team, um, cheering on their favorite team in the bar. So it's, it's a really exciting atmosphere right now. And I think this tournament's really helping to bring the sport front and center. So tell us, what are people buying and who are the best selling players at your stores? Sure. Well, uh, people are buying player jerseys specifically. Um, USA, of course, is a top seller for us. The USA Away jersey with the red, blue, and white stripes, we've actually sold out of. As far as equipment's concerned, the small uh, official Adidas bazooka balls have become a really hot gift item and have been a great gift for youth and kids. Um, as far as specific players, we actually tailored our experience in the stores more towards countries. Um, I will say other countries that are doing very well are Italy, Brazil, and Germany as far as jersey sales. Okay. Well, how closely would you say sales are tied to the fortune of winning teams? I mean, do you think that if the United States does well uh, over the weekend, uh, just the mere fact that it made the cup and did so well in its first matchup against Ghana will also help your sales? Uh, absolutely. I mean, everyone does love a winner. Uh, that being said, we do anticipate a bit of a drop off in sales for countries that have left the tournament, uh, such as Spain and you know, possibly England. What about overseas orders? I'm not sure if your store does that, but are you getting any feedback from international consumers? We don't do overseas sales. However, since we're located in major metro areas, we do get a lot of international business, a lot of travelers. Um, they're very happy with our selection that we have. And we are seeing great sales there as far as our international jerseys that I mentioned before, Germany, Italy, Brazil. Uh, those are flying off the shelves for us, not just from people living here in the States, but from international travelers as well. And you say you are in 24 stores in seven states. Uh, which major metropolitan areas, cities, or states are doing the most business right now? Okay, great question. As far as World Cup specific, we're doing great overall as a company. We really have some good standout stores in our New York metro area, uh, up here in Boston and in the D.C. area. We do find that uh, soccer and international type sport tends to do very well there for us. I just want to ask you a question about social media. Facebook's been saying that people are interacting more on its site uh, about the World Cup than even about the Olympics, Super Bowl, and Ac Ac excuse me, Academy Awards combined. Mm -hmm. How has social media awareness had an impact on your sales? I think it's had a tremendous impact on our sales, uh, as opposed to the previous tournament where social media was relevant but still coming on. Uh, we definitely have people who are staying connected, not just through media outlets, but through friends, uh, through social media, and they're actually talking up the products that they're buying. They're snapping pictures of the jerseys that they have, of the bazooka balls that they're buying, and that's great promotion for our business as well, and we are seeing an uptick in business from our social media. And that was Dave McQuaid, general manager of U.S. sports retailer City Sports in Boston, Massachusetts.